Hey everybody, welcome to Ginger's Corner. Today I'm going to be reviewing a book for you guys. It's The Deliverer by Linda Rios Brooke. This is the second book in the Reluctant Demon Diaries that Linda Rios Brooke has written. And I'm going to go ahead and read you guys the synopsis from the back of the book. It says, Samantha Yell has taken on a daunting translation project. A set of scrolls delivered by a man she knows nothing about tells a fascinating and frightening tale of what went on behind the scenes of biblical history. What is even more incredible is who is telling the tale, a fallen angel who immediately regretted his decision to side with Lucifer. Um, with the Deliverer, Linda Rios Brooke brings new depth of imagery into the spirit world. It's a story about rebellion and consequences. It's about demonic strategy to disrupt and destroy the people of God, but ultimately it is a story about the unrelenting love, grace, and mercy of a sovereign God in pursuit of his children. I'm going to show you the cover again. It is The Deliverer by Linda Rios Brooke. And as I said, this book is the second one in a series uh, that she has written. Um, I have to say that I really, really, really enjoyed this book so much. Um, I would say just as much as the first book. It didn't, it didn't really go away from the style of writing for the first book um, to the second book. This book basically um, takes up where Moses is kind of, um, you know, coming on the scene in the Bible, um, and uh, it goes through hit him going through the plagues of Egypt. It also goes through um, leading the people out of slavery. Um, and then eventually Joshua being uh, the leader over the people and all the way until we get to about the kings um, so and then that's kind of where it stops so that the next book which is I think it's called The King um, can pick up there um, Somebody said that these books are basically like Bible stories for adults, and I would absolutely 100% agree with that um, because it's exactly what the book reads as. It reads as like Bible stories, um, but it is told, you know, from the perspective of a fallen angel, and I think that's really interesting because it kind of gets you to thinking about some things um, in the Bible stories that you may not have thought about before. It also kind of gets you, it gets me to want to go back and look in the Bible and see these stories and reread them and kind of look for things that maybe, you know, I didn't see before, I didn't notice before, I didn't think about before. So, um, so these books kind of make you, you know, want to do that, want to go and dig a little deeper into God's Word. Um, there is, um, pretty much the entire book is, like, the Bible stories, um, but it, it also is told, you know, like I said, from the perspective of a fallen angel, so you also have that part of him, basically, like, asking all the questions that maybe even some skeptics and doubters would ask of God, like, God, why did you, you know, um, allow this person to get away with this or why are you so easy on these people you know or why do you give them so many chances over and over and over like it doesn't make sense so um he as a fallen angel asks all of these questions and um so maybe some questions you've thought of or people you know you know have asked that it really talks about in here and then of course also there's the side story that it talks about in the description samantha yell She's, you know, that that part of the story is a little bit of the book. It's basically right at the right at the beginning, maybe like the first chapter, and then at the end, um, there's like this side story where it goes to Samantha and she's translating these scrolls, and the guy that she's got them from, his name is Mr. Wonk, and um, I think, you know, as the books go on, that part of the story will develop more. We'll find out. You know who is he? I kind of think I know who he is, but um, but I'm curious to see how Samantha like um, you know figures things out. So I think that'll be interesting, and I think that'll get more in depth as the books go on. But these are basically this one is pretty much like the story of Moses, the people of Israel, 
um, the plagues, you know, um, up until Joshua. And so it's really interesting, though, to read these. Um, like I said, um, somebody said that these are like adult Bible stories. I totally agree with that. Um, and I think they would be good, you know, read aloud uh, in like family time or something like that. I think that that would be really cool uh, for young adults, teenagers, and their parents to, you know, kind of talk about some of these stories, some of the things that happened. And um, yeah, so I think that would be awesome. But um, I really liked this book. Um, it's The Deliverer by Linda Rios Brooke. It's par part of her Reluctant Demon Diaries. It's the second book. Um, I pretty much decided that when I go ahead and do read the third and fourth book in the series that I'm just going to lump them all together and do a complete review on all four books instead of going, you know, individual with the third book and the fourth book because because they're very similar I think the reviews would be really similar or so um, but I'll just do it like that so um, look forward to that in the future I'm gonna just do a review of the whole series for you guys and um, but if you get a chance to check it out it's really awesome the covers are really cool I like those um, yeah so from Georgia's Corner happy reading bye everybody